All right, that's the pump right there. And we have a leak in here and in the gasket area. But it's on this side here, next to the wall. And that, my friends, we will be repairing. Don't ask me how. Say that again. Since we are taking the pump out, we might be able to take it apart uh -huh. and check the gasket, take it out, find the gasket that's the same size, and put it in. And Where do you get the gasket from? Home Depot, Auto Store, somewhere that has rubber gaskets. That's you are the cutest it. thing ever. <laughs> Does it not sound reasonable? Oh my goodness. Uh, what happened actually with this pump? Oh, it leaked everywhere and we lost all our water and we kept overheating when we were trying to get home from our trip to Concan. About what, last weekend was it? Or? I don't know, it seems like forever because we can't take our bus and go on fun, fabulous trips to anywhere right now because we only can drive about 30 minutes before it overheats. <laughs> it's horrible, so. At least you get to work on the truck from the AC. It's nice in here. Oh, weren't you going to help? I'm helping. Oh. <laughs> so you holding the bed up for you? Well, yeah, I'm holding the bed and the camera. And... Please don't drop it. Now. <sighs> now. <laughs> uh, now what? Oh, shit. Don't lose it. Don't lose <laughs> now it. I gotta be able to take these things off. These are on there, like. Putting it back on might be a little bitch. Oh my gosh, the pipe! It's a big stinking thing. You know what the best part is? Ugh. Standing on the engine. I don't know why, but I love the fact that you can stand on the engine. Because now you can see the pump. Let's take a huh. video of the pump. We can actually see it now. It's not hiding anymore, like behind the big thing that you had to take out. What are you doing? Sorry, the camera fell a little bit. Uh -huh. It got heavy. Take this away from me. Uh, sure. I think you're cute too. I think I dirty up your carpet. Oh my carpet! Hope that bed doesn't fall on me. The bed's not gonna fall on you. It's got three brooms. It's triple secured. Oh. My goodness. Take all that water. No! Dang it. What did you do? I kicked the screw. I was trying not to like fall. I was trying to like readjust and like make myself sturdy here. So I like moved my foot and like planted it. And then it was a little bit too close and then it just kicked the bolt. It went it's down there, it landed on the board, it went yeah. all the way through, or at least Unless it rolled off into the grass. Yeah. Oh, well. My bad, yo. You know what? We don't need that piece anyway. I think we need all of them. No, 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 we're good. I, I think all oh, of them no, no, serve a purpose. Nah. They tell you that just so you can buy into the hole. Oh, you put it there for a reason? <laughs> I do? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey. Do I need to go get that? I'm going to leave that right there. Let's try not to kick it, please. I think I'm comfy now. So I'm good. Okay. Almost there, kitty cat. I love it. Oh, you said you couldn't yesterday. But you know what? I didn't say anything because I said, no, oh, he can do it. He just has to think about it. He's just tired and done. 
I knew you could figure it out, so I wasn't even worried. Hey, you don't know me. I know you're really <laughs> good at solving these kinds of problems and taking things apart and putting them back together most of the time. <laughs> oh, you pulled a cat. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Don't drop the other bolt. Oh, I might. I just might, David. I might. I'll put them a little safer. Put them over here, all the way over there, so I don't accidentally kick them into the hole again. Hi, pig. Pig, what are you doing here? No, no, no. Get out. Go on. Out of here. Go. Out of here. They know what out of here means. They're so good. Good dogs. Out of here. Good job. They're so smart. They know so many words. The engine is lava, or no, the engine is not lava. Check it. Put it right next to the other one. I'm like a nurse and you're like a doctor. That's awesome. Damn it, Jim. <laughs> is that what he says? I'm a doctor, not a scientist. Because, yeah, it's in David's face on an engine. For the record, David is laying face first. <laughs> David is sleeping on the job. <laughs> David is taking a nap. <laughs> David, stop laying down on the job. You're so lazy. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> Get up, Dave. We're trying to fix an engine here. Can we take that? Yeah, put it up there. Scalpel. See, I'm the nurse again. Not just any nurse. Oh, I shit. Know. I should have come Oh, up. fuck. Did you? Oh, you just lost it? I dropped something. The, oh, there it comes. Oh, here it comes. I need that washer. I don't know where it went. I think it went all the way I hope it went down. I heard it hit wood. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. Did. It had like a specific <laughs> sound that is when something of that size or a marble or something hits a piece of wood. It's it's It hit the wood. It fell all the way through. Okay. This is the pump. Your friend? What was it? The heat circulation pump? Yeah. Oh. So we have a pump. There we go. Dave? That's good news. I like how big this engine is. It's huge. And you can walk on it. And that's funny to me. And all of our problems hopefully will be solved by this little bitty thing. Oh gosh, I hope. I really hope that the pump being fixed really, really fixes our leak and then our RV will hold coolant and we can get back on the road and start traveling again because we've been grounded for almost two weeks now. And wanderlust is kicking in and I just need to go somewhere. And I think Dave needs to go somewhere too. Didn't find it. Right there. Right there. I could touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> Don't do that to me. Don't scare me, mean man. All right. Coming up. Coming up. Yep. Coming right up. David to fix a pump. I'm really glad David is here because I wouldn't know how to do any of this. None of it. Is the pump done? The pump is done, I believe. It's on and then stuff? Yeah, but we won't know if we have any issues until we put everything back. Yeah, because you got to put all the water in it first, too. Yeah. It says don't do dry. No dry pumping. That's okay. what she said. Uh-huh. That does sound like a dirty thing to say. Oh, wait. So, 
we think the RV is fixed. Well, we put everything back together. The pump's back on, the lines are connected. Copper, no. Okay. Anymore. Ow! David bit my bottom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're biting my bottom. I was a bit hungry. Oh. I really, really, really hope that when we pour this coolant in, because it's like 160 or 130, I don't know, it's a lot of dollars worth of coolant and if it leaks again, that's going to be an expensive mistake. So I hope this works. Okay. It took about eight jugs to fill this up and it's full and this little thing turned red which means it's full. It's a little clear glass that you can see through to see if you're out of coolant. Um, so hopefully all the coolant stays in there and so far it looks like nothing is dripping or leaking underneath the RV. The next step would be turning on the RV and hopefully nothing is going to explode or It'll all stay together. And Wait, why would it explode? What's gonna explode? Well, the pump, like the water pressure could like psh, explode. It could be an explosion of water. I didn't say an explosion of fire. <laughs> explosion of pump getting blown off of the thing with the hoses or I don't know. It could, something could go very wrong. So it's like, hopefully it doesn't. And hopefully this is fixed. Uh, we won't know until we turn the truck on now. All right, let's do that then. Uh-huh. And then eat. Why don't you close that thing off? Okay. Oh gosh, I don't know. No, no, the radiator cap. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Do not open my heart. I don't have any idea what I'm doing, but... I don't know. I don't... <laughs> Do you want to... Is that right? I get you it. need one more. Push and turn. There you go. Tight. Got it. I think so. Tight, Goose. Tight. I don't tighter in there? I don't. I was just checking. I don't know. Oh, look. You see? Whatever, fancy pants. Aren't you fancy with your radiator cap? Aren't you Goosey? I'm hungry. That's All right, let's go eat then, Goose. I know. And I thought you were like, put this down. Yeah, take that down like, too. I don't know how it comes down. Up here. What is it? A little clip. Oh, I see. I would have broken it. Oh, that was a little too short. Um, you need a thing. They're be parking. <laughs> you need a key, right? To like okay. latch that. I'll lock that up. Okay, cool. <gasps> run! 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 <laughs> ah, the stairs are not fast enough! Uh. It looks dry. Nothing leaking.
Yes. All right, so we completed the uh, test. Um, it's working. Nothing is leaking. The pump is holding, and our RV is not overheating and dumping water anymore. So we're doing pretty good. We're free to roam about the country. <laughs> Somewhat. Um, yes. We found that it handled pretty good. We drove it for quite a distance. Yeah. Um, Actually, what, like 30 minutes, hour, more than an hour drive. We drove it around two for hours a while yesterday. Something like that. And we ended up in a lake, so and they're pretty good too. By the lake. Did you say in the lake? Yeah, in the lake. <laughs> we didn't drive the RV into the lake. Uh, anyway, guys, appreciate it. <laughs> Bye. <We're out. gasps> guys! <laughs>